and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken All eyes at NASA are on the skies because of a comet coming in for its final turn around the sun. And if it survives that part of the trip, we are all in for a spectacular and multi-week-long show in the night sky. It is the comet Ison, and astronomers say it basically can trace its life back to the beginning of time. Already it's visible through telescopes and binoculars. If it survives the slingshot around the sun, it will be visible to the naked eye as a kind of bright but dirty snowball in the pre-dawn sky in the days approaching Christmas. We'll be tracking it and we will let you know. All right, I want to maybe do a little cautionary nerd alert here because I want to show you a really cool sight in the sky that we could be in for. Comet Ison hurtling towards the sun at 248 miles per second. This is a projection of, of the path that it could be taking. It's expected this comet could slingshot right around the sun on Thanksgiving. Now, whether it survives its brush with the sun or not is in question. NASA says that actually the tail could get yanked off by solar particles or, as we see in this animation, as we see in this animation, <laughs> as we see in this animation, it could cook the frozen ice particles and destroy it completely. So why do we care? Here's the question. It is coming from the very edge of space. That's a big deal. It has taken five and a half million years to reach us. And if it actually makes it around the sun, it'll be very easy for us to spot with the naked eye. That's some serious cool factor, guys. Serious cool factor. A little <laughs> special treat for Thanksgiving for everyone. Thanks, Michaela. You're welcome. The party started at 5.30, but most of those people hoping to see the comet have moved across the street, uh, hoping for a better view. Now, uh, the best chance of seeing this comet, I'm told, is right before sunrise, which is in about 20 minutes this morning. So I just asked a couple people walking over if they had seen anything, and uh, they said not yet, but we'll check back in with them in a little bit. Now, the point... Uh, the, according to NASA, ISON has been headed our way for five and a half million years, and it's going to make an extremely close approach to the sun. The cosmic body will be closest to the sun on Thanksgiving Day, skimming just 730,000 miles above its surface. Thanksgiving will bring a few possibilities. NASA says it could be tough enough to survive the passage of the sun, making it fairly bright and visible to the naked eye in early December. Another option, the sun could actually pull it apart into several chunks rounding the sun putting on a great show again in early december and then finally nasa scientists say it could break up into a cloud of dust and there would be nothing to see now there's a lot of interest in the comet ison because it's never passed through the inner solar system before well, this comet is unusual. This is the first time this particular comet has come around the sun that we know of. Uh, we don't even know if it's going to survive its Thanksgiving passage around the sun. Uh, we're studying it, watching how it uh, changes over time, uh, analyzing the light that comes off of it, and getting everything we can uh, from this uh, visitor from the early solar system. Now, I'm told if there is something to see, your best shot will be... Uh, Thanksgiving or in early December, always just before sunrise. I'm told that's the best time of day to uh, hope to view the comet. And then, of course, if you're in a rural area with clear skies, that's even better. Reporting live in Balboa Park, Shireen Tagarobi, NBC7.